Doctor, why does secondary infertility happen? And uh, what is the best treatment for couples with uh, secondary infertility? See, secondary infertility is a condition where a person has already gotten pregnant once and may even have a child through that pregnancy, but is unable to conceive again. So this is known as secondary infertility. So it, it doesn't mean that just because they were able to conceive once, then that they do not have such a major issue as people with primary infertility, that is people who have never been able to conceive. So it, this is also equally important to the couple and equally distressing. But uh, and, and the worst part is none of us are able to understand the depth of their situation because you generally, you have people who tend to say that uh, uh, you have one child, so it's not really such a big deal. So at least be happy that you have one child. But see, each child is important to each couple, right? So having a second child is also an important decision that they've made. But unfortunately, they don't get the same kind of support from the family or even from the society that couples with primary infertility may face. So when in a similar manner, when a couple wants to conceive after uh, trying for even one year of unprotected intercourse and uh, they uh, fail in that attempt, then we consider them to have secondary infertility. So such couples need to take treatment. And if they are above 35, it's better that they wait for only six months before trying to conceive and then come to us for evaluation and treatment. The causes are the same, like the same causes which may affect the male or female at in a case of primary infertility may also affect them now. The only difference is probably they are much older now than they were when they initially conceived. So they the male could develop problems with his sperm even now. So there could be abnormalities with his count, with his morphology, with the motility. And this may happen to due to several reasons. It may be due to increased occupational exposure or he may have contracted some infections in the meantime or he may have suffered from certain other diseases. Some chronic medical conditions may develop now like BP, hypertension, thyroid diseases. So any of these can cause abnormalities. So there are a lot of people who don't even come for treatment or evaluation because they think that hey, we have one child already. So it's difficult for the couple themselves to accept that they may need treatment for a second child. Second. And the same thing happens in the female. She may have been healthy then, but she may develop so, so many problems with her reproductive tract. She may develop pelvic infections, which may lead to tubal blocks. She may have had miscarriages, which may again block the tubes. Then she may develop fibroids or polyps, which were there before but it can happen at any time then there are so many complications which may happen as a result of her previous delivery or previous surgery that she has undergone so all these things can cause an alteration on the reproductive tract and can prevent her from conceiving again so the treatment is pretty much the same it depends on what the cause is so depending on the cause we give the treatment so if it's a correctable cause we correct the cause first and then probably the couple will conceive on their own but if they are not able to then they also have to undergo the whole range of treatment like any other couple with primary infertility they have to take the same drugs the same IUI or even IVF in some cases but there's no other option because the same thing same disease affects them as well